This presentation is to help you review text structures. It's part of a test prep review to get you ready for your state standardized test. Please take notes as you follow along. The first text structure is sequence. Sequence is when the text tells the order in which things happened. Our visual reminder is this arrow with the numbers 1, 2, 3 to indicate order. For example, first the teacher gave us a ticket. Then she showed us this video. Now we are taking notes. That tells the order in which things happened. First, then, and now are great signal words to indicate that the text structure is sequence. The second text structure is compare and contrast. We use this Venn diagram as a visual reminder. When we read a text that uses compare and contrast, the text tells how things are different, which is represented by the outsides of the Venn diagram, and uses signal words like different, apart, however, and whereas. The text tells how things are different and the same. The same goes in the middle of the Venn diagram and uses signal words like both, similar, and like. The third text structure is cause and effect. This is when the text tells why something happened and what was the result. Our visual reminder is this arrow that leads to the star. The arrow tells why something happened. The star tells what was the result. For example, why are we watching this video? State tests are coming up soon. What is the result? Teachers are reviewing with their students. Some great signal words that you might use to help you determine that the text structure is cause and effect are as a result, because, since, or if. The fourth text structure is problem and solution. This is when the text tells about a problem and how it was solved. Our visual reminder is this question leading to a light bulb. The question represents the problem. The light bulb represents the solution. For example, the student was absent and had a makeup work dilemma. She asked a friend what she missed and the teacher for the paper to solve her problem. The problem was a makeup work one and she solved it by asking a friend and the teacher. Words like dilemma, solve, and even problem are great signal words to help you determine the text structure of problem and solution. The fifth and final text structure is description. Description is when the text gives details about a person, place, or thing. This web is our visual reminder. Here's our example. Schools are places of learning where students can gain knowledge. For example, students can learn how to calculate the amount of tax they'll pay when they buy a car. So using our web, we would put schools or places of learning where students can gain knowledge in the center, and one of the details is that students can learn how to calculate the amount of tax they'll pay when they buy a car. Obviously, there are several more details of things that students can learn while they are at school. You might be thinking, these are great, but how do we use them? Well, we use them to find out what contributes to the development of the texts in order to analyze them. Now you might be thinking, say, what? What do you mean by contribute, development, and analyze? Well, contribute means add to, Development means change, and analyze means to draw conclusions when you look deeper for meaning. So let's put that all together. The text structure adds to the changes we learn about in the texts as we read and impacts our ability to understand what we read as well as draw conclusions. So basically that means that understanding text structure helps us to understand what we read better 
and make us better able to answer questions about the texts.